Hello, uh, I'm Tina. Uh, yesterday we created uh, our first servlate demo, and uh, at that time we using uh, web.xml file, right? We changed something in web.xml file to configure the servlate, right? And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about web.xml file. So let me head over to our uh, IDE, okay? Uh, yesterday, the demo, my Git has some problem. So I deleted it just before the video. I redid the, the demo, uh, which almost the same as uh, the yesterday's. Okay, the only change I made is I changed this one to be a slash star, which means no matter what kind of configuration, uh, how many servlets have, it, this one will override. This one I put it here is to override the welcome, which is uh, by default, it will, you will see this hello world. When I add this one, this URL pattern, it will always go to my uh, servlet. Okay, so this is the only change I made. Oh, not the only change. Uh, so let me go to the URL to show you what happened. Okay. See, current time, this is same, right? So now let's go back to talk about uh, web.xml. First, what is web.xml file? Web.xml file, uh, we uh, use it as a deployment descriptor that uh, when we deploy a web application like here, the first server demo this project to Tomcat, the Tomcat we are using this web.xml file to uh, decide how to deploy our application. Because in this web.xml file, we can do a lot of configurations. The first configuration here is a servlet, right? This servlet is used to map this URL will be mapped to uh, the hello world servlet. It tell the Tomcat we are using this file to do the mapping between the URL and the servlet. It also can configure other things. We will talk more and more in the future. Like uh, it can configure for uh, the filter, okay? And it can configure for the listener. It can configure for uh, context prime and the well, uh, well uh, list files. I will do one more for you. Yes, this one. Here I will create a default. HTML configure another one and show you uh, uh, welcome okay welcome <laughs> to Miss X and Miss Xin uh, Servlet and uh, JSP tutorial tutorial thank you thank you for watching okay <laughs> Okay, so here I have default uh, default HTML. Oh, you can also configure for welcome uh, list file because this one is easy to understand and uh, don't don't uh, need to spend a lot of time. So I want to show you here and uh, index.jsp. Then here I have to change a little bit in order to see a little bit heavier. So here we can have welcome list file, which means if uh, there's a no, uh, if there's a no, uh, I have to do hello. If there's a no URL map to current, it will show this welcome uh, current. If there, uh, sorry, if there's no servlets to handle the current URL, it will show welcome file. Okay, and it will display as it uh, uh, as it. Uh, listed by the order in the file. So if we find default HTML first, it will show this one. If we cannot find it, it will show this one. Okay. So 
So we can do is redeploy. And see the behavior. Okay, welcome fire. It has lots of things can happen here. Uh, which I just show you a little bit here. Okay, and uh, here, see welcome to missing because currently this URL we don't have a handler or servlet to handle it, right? So it will show the welcome file. But if we go to hello, it will show the current time because I changed it. Change it here. If I don't have a default HTML and it will follow the index JSP, if it has, it will show. If none of them here, here you will see 404. So, uh, web.xml, who use that? Tomcat, the container. Okay, summarize. Okay, who use that? Uh, Tomcat. Tomcat were using this web.xml file to uh, determine how to deploy our application. Okay, uh, decide this URL will be when user uh, uh, click and to access it will handle by this servlet. And uh, if you can also has a multiple servlet, right? And later we will learn listener, context prime, and uh, filter or others. And also can configure for the security. Okay. There are other things I changed here is the version of the web.xml file. Yesterday, when we generate, uh, let me see if I can copy, if I can show you, okay. Okay, so yesterday, when we create our project, we are using the web uh, uh, Maven archetype web app, right? Do you remember when we create the project? Let me show you here again. Maven, when we create the project, we using we click archetype and we are using this one, right? And uh, all the archetype is kind of a template. Okay, it have uh, uh, several files already. Uh, as a template, it's just a download the template and change the things we modified. And the template, the XML file, web.xml file in this template is very old. So cancel. Huh? Uh, uh, where I did that go? Okay, let me go. So here, this is the web.xml file, which is downloaded when we uh, using the Maven archetype to create this project. And the version of this one is very, very old. The version is 2.3. Most of the time, it doesn't have a problem when we use 2.3. Now, there's a problem is later on when we learn um, ER expression, it's going to have a problem by default. It's uh, the um, ER expression by default is a force, which is uh, doesn't recognize. And uh, you have to change it to using the version, which is a 2.5 and higher. So in order to uh, prevent this kind of problem gonna happen in the future, I suggest you to using a higher version of this web.xml file. Be aware of that, okay? So the the, the version I the highest version I found online, which is uh, supported by Tomcat 9 and higher, okay, are using 4.0. This version only supported by Tomcat 9 and higher. So if you are using Tomcat uh, 8 or 85, you have to use the version which is a 3.0 or 3.1, okay, like that, okay. This is another warning about using the web.xml file. Okay, so uh, another question is, uh, is web.xml file needed or mandatory for a servlet application? The answer is uh, no. Uh, we talked about since servlet 3.0, there are annotations which can be used to replace web.xml file. Like for the servlet, okay, we can we we don't need to configure in web.xml file. We can use an annotation. I will show you later. Okay, and uh, 
in uh, also for the same for the filter and listener we no longer need to config in web.xml file we can using annotations but there are something which using annotations cannot be configured using annotations okay uh, something like that suppose we are doing a filter filter if we want to have ordered filter, uh, filter to be configured annotation cannot be achieved because um, in web.xml file the filter is being applied based on the order they appeared in web.xml but that cannot be achievable so far uh, now using annotation uh, there are things if we want to do some global global configuration for context uh, parameters you can we cannot using annotations uh separate configure uh servlet uh configurations we can do because that's part of the servlet and uh other things suppose we want to do some uh, session configuration we cannot do okay so uh web.xml uh in a nutshell web.xml is not a mandatory but still if you have a special requirement you probably still need to using web.xml to do the configuration and uh, additionally uh, since servlet 3.0 if you really 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 don't want to using web.xml web file you can also programmatically to implement servlet uh, initializer servlet container initializer mm, i think that's a class okay and which can fill the gap okay so use as you want okay uh, either web.xml or you want using annotation annotation i will show you uh, in another video how to do that so that's the web.xml file uh talking about it and you will see more in the future because in this uh tutorial i probably will show you both ways annotation or web.xml to do the thing and uh, if you still uh, wonder uh web.xml here in my github i have another blog okay all about web.xml i'm going to explain all the things i just talked about but the version here i using 3.1 okay uh that's it for a uh, web.xml file and uh hope you understand at least a little bit about what web.xml is used for okay uh, thank you. See you in next video. Bye-bye.